What's good, what's good, YouTube? You already know it's your boy City. You know what I'm saying? City guys in the building. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I should be dro I should have dropped this tutorial like some days ago, a day or two ago, something like that. You know what I'm saying? But this tutorial is about how to make a T-bone type beat. You know what I'm saying? That dance hall vibe. You know what I'm saying? That dark trap dance hall type vibe. You feel me? Alright, so I'm not really gonna go too much into that old intro and all that. I'm just gonna get straight to it. You know what I'm saying? Making this T-bone type beat. You feel me? Alright, so first thing first, what you want to do, you, you probably want to figure out your scale, which, you know, dark melodies, it's out of that minor, like E minor, D minor, D sharp minor, C minor, C sharp minor, stuff like that, G minor, you know what I'm saying? And then you want to get your instrument out. I pull up my piano because, you know, most of his beats, they can hear the whole piano vibe in it, stuff like that, you feel me? Right. I got my piano, you know what I'm saying? So I got my piano up and running, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna make sure I drop my parametric EQ on it. Um, what is that? Isotope vinyl, you know what I'm saying? Kind of gives it that, um, kind of gives it an effect. I don't remember what kind of effect, but it kind of gives it like, like that. If you like listening to the hip hop, it kind of gives it that um, vintage type of feel. saying kind of give you that vintage type feel and also you want to lower your velocity as well you know what I'm saying you want to lower your velocity as well and for me the reason why I already cut right here is because I already know where the bass you know what I'm saying is gonna come in if I gotta take more out I'll do that now when it comes to like t-bone type of melodies it's like if you listen to his beats it's mostly like arpeggiated melody, you know what I'm saying? It's most like that arpeggiated type vibe. You feel me? Mostly that arpeggiated type of feel. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. So it's on F right here. Let me get that bass going. Sometimes when you're creating that RPG melody, if you're not like, you know what I'm saying, if you're not really getting that, you know what I'm saying, vibe that you're looking for, like what you could actually do, you know what I'm saying, you could actually just like add your bass note to it. It helps. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you just drag it down, trying to get that feel. You feel me? Top notes right here. I'm definitely not feeling that.
right, so what I want to do next, I just go for the half time, or you can use gross speed for that. Now, this, you know what I'm saying? Cut it half speed. Sometimes what I do, if I'm not really getting out of the idea, I just pull up, you know what I'm saying, the snare, and just get it going. So for this right here, I'm gonna like, copy, I'm gonna copy this and just paste it. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take these bass notes off. You feel me? And then I'm gonna find like a different sound and then see, you know what I'm saying? That's what I get with. comes to these things like sound selection is key you feel me then again now i'm gonna pull up expand i'm gonna find a different sound now you feel me what is that three right there, four i'm gonna find a different sound now make sure it's at the same root note you feel me right so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go for a string because you know sometimes if you listen to these songs you got strings in them especially the latest song called um ape you know what i'm saying that was dope you feel me? So I just pull up. Give me a string, spiccato. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so I right. make sure to add some volume to this.
my soul let me try something out i'll probably change the strings though to something else Sometimes what you gotta do, sometimes you gotta like mess around with the root notes, like to get a better feel of what you're actually doing, you know what I'm saying? Like the idea, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this don't sound too bad. too much bass so I'm taking some of the bass out drum pattern you gotta like listen to how like t-bones instrumentals be like constructed you gotta listen to whole you know what i'm saying not just listen to the song but listen to all everything elements it's instruments whatever they use how they construct you gotta like you know what i'm saying map that all out So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put it there, because the root note, root note on the melody is F. So I'm going to bring this up to F. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. Let me make sure I put it on the right root note. You got to make sure 808 is on the right root note. If not, it's not going to sound good. And also make sure to tune your 808s. You know what I'm saying? I'm always saying that in my tutorials. Make sure to tune your 808s.
always try to make my patterns unique. My drum patterns, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta always make sure, like, you know what I'm saying? No cap, but I gotta make sure these things sound good. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make sure it sound good, you feel me? Alright, so let me go back, like, let me check something out real quick. Basically, it's almost done. Like that's how you get that fire when you start out. You feel me? Now I go for my hi hats next. You know what I'm saying? Go for something light, not too heavy. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's up. place our, our kicks
I'm saying? So, like, what you can do also with your kicks and your 808, you don't have to place your kicks on every part of the 808. Just leave some space. Like, leave some of them just blank. Just don't put any kick there. Let's let the 808 play. Like, it sounds good. Like, give it that bounce, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, most of T-Bone beats is always about that bounce, that dark melody, that vibe. And you're good, you know what I'm saying? And that's how you make a T-bone type beat. You feel me? Like follow my steps. You know what I'm saying? Learn a few things. Like I guarantee you can like you know what I'm saying? Make it happen. Cause like sometimes you create a melody and it's not sounding how you want it. Just add halftime to it and just mess around with it. Or just what you can do, you can just render it out as an audio clip and just flip that same sample. You know what I'm saying? It be will sound better. And or you can just go the same way how I do it from scratch. You know what I'm saying? I don't be on that sampling shit sometimes. I just be my thing from scratch. So you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, thank y'all for tuning in my tutorial, you know what I'm saying? Still make the beat in less than thirty minutes. Still got my goal. Still got my lead, you know what I'm saying? Still banging. So thank y'all for tuning in, you know what I'm saying? City guys right here, you know what I'm saying? Peace out. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share. Y'all know what's up.